Hello, welcome to West Enemy Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? We have come to another round of Round the World in The Sims 2 Speed Build. This time, we're tra traveling all the way to the Netherlands to build a Dutch canal. I'm very excited to try this type of architecture out. But first, let's have a quick recap of West Enemy Sims updates. We are now at the time of recording have 585 subscribers in my channel. Thank you so much for supporting West Enemy Sims content of Retro Sims. I really really appreciate everyone who support and really like my channel content. And if you haven't been subscribed yet to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on Retro Sims content. Now back to the build, uh, basically I will have uh, three buildings facing to a body of water, long and narrow lake which we double as a canal. So we have foundations up, laid out of a long rectangle split into three parts and another long strip of foundation as a side of the canal and I dug a long lake and fill it up with water and that will be our canal, and I have the deck that act as a bridge. So I've done a little bit of Google search on how the canal houses look like in Netherlands, and basically they have very very different styles of building. And I tried to emulate different at least three of the styles that I commonly see alongside the Dutch canal. So these three buildings will be three different community lot facilities so sims can come here and do their shopping and have a little bit of fun and socialize. So the first one will be the curved roof and so so I need to definitely need to use mansion and garden style architecture roof first. The second one is the mansard roofing that is pretty similar to what French townhouse did last time and except it's more taller and skinnier and with a different color, slightly different style. Last one is the type that has a jagged roof. Definitely use different wall heights of top walls and foundations of platforms to make different wall heights to make it. And those now houses look pretty interesting uh, because they are very window heavy and so there are a lot of windows facing the canal and they are typically very tall and really narrow and skinny for each building yes mine is a little bit too, too wide I put them 8 minutes wide definitely can shrunk it down to 6 but that's okay but I have more space inside buildings I only furnish the first Two floors and the third floor above are that basically empty, so those are just for roof decorations. And yeah, I try to mix and match different suitable windows and doors to make it each building a little bit different and unique, but same still carry the neat style of a Dutch canal. As for walls and floors. Definitely, the on the outside, definitely we use more stone pavements uh, leading up to the bridge and some concrete flooring. Uh, on the outside, we have uh, different wall colors, obviously. I look through the references I have. Most of them are really uniform, but the, although I saw some of them have really colorful painted houses so I think it depends where in Netherlands you're at so you have either very one color monochrome color scheme with blue and or brown and white all over or uh, and really colorful ones with reds and oranges uh, yeah it's pretty nice so I think I kind of mix different styles together to make it so interesting So 
back to the subscriber count I mentioned just now, I we are very close to our target of 600 subscribers by mid February. I hope we can reach by before February ends because I'm going to have a goal of 700 subscribers before March ends. So definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Thank you so much. It really, really helps to boost this channel a lot to give more people exposure to how fun and exciting Sims, older Sims games are, especially The Sims 2. Now, I also post some videos about The Sims 1 and The Sims 3. However, they aren't really popular. So I do really need your help and support to support all other videos that are not as popular because I don't want to be boxed in to become as a Sims 2 channel because, because Sims 1 and Sims 3 are just as nice and fun even though the Sims 2 is my favorite. So yeah, please do and support and give as much popularity as possible because I do feel I need to be motivated to make more Sims 3 videos especially because it really saddens me that Sims 3 videos are not performed as well as Sims 2 videos. I understand Sims 1 videos won't be as popular because not many people exposed to the Sims 1 game and yeah and recently I have uh, posted a survey on my community page asking how many years that Sims players actually play and a lot of them are pretty on near 20 years of playing The Sims. I myself play over 20 years close to as long as when The Sims 1 came out so it's close to 20, not 20 years. Yeah, can you believe this game series has been around for two more than two decades and it's still ongoing until today and they keep making new ones although I personally feel that The Sims 4 isn't the best out of this franchise and they are making The Sims 5 pretty soon and they really it in I don't know how they're going to release it when are we going to release it anyway but I do not have a lot of hope in Sims 5 or Project Rene as they can because so far the features they are promoting isn't really exciting because they are just promoting the build mode that are cross-platform across different gaming devices which is PC and mobile games which to be fair I'm not really excited about that because the gameplay features itself isn't that groundbreaking. But oh well we just have to wait and see how it goes out. Okay back to our canal build. So I will have three different shops in this community lot. So the first one as you may have seen already I'm going to have a cafe and bakery kind of a shop lot. Really rustic features. And the middle one will be the florist flower shop. Sells all kinds of plants with a bouquet workshop on top. Flower arranging work stand on the top floor. And on the third shop lot will be a grocery store with upstairs some recreational, some fun things to do for it. Um, interior wise, I don't really put a lot of research into it because the interior design I saw or maybe I don't look hard enough because they look pretty generic to me. So yeah, so I just go along with a more rustic and article style I think because our canals are pretty close to rivers so I would say uh, to be explorers 
yes, colonizing histories and all. So, giving them a slight nautical twist to it, I, we will see in some of the builds, they have horns, some flow, and some little bits of hints that this is really near to a seaside kind of a feel. So, yeah, those who are Dutch, please leave me a comment. Um, what are the distinctive features of interior design in uh, Dutch houses and Dutch architecture in general? Because I'm pretty stumped in so finding out what's unique about Dutch architecture in design. On the upstairs of the bakery will be the kitchen where things get produced and bakery goods are produced. So, and the upstairs for the flower shop will be workbench and also a small office, a manager to work around, and also I include a flower bed that is made from foundation and the tulips with move objects on. As you will see here, move objects on will be used quite often and also I need to use a cheat code to make sure I can build the flooring on the ceiling on the top floor because I actually accidentally exceeded the floor limit which is 5 floors Yes, the Sims in The Sims 2 Without cheats, you can only build up to 5 floors, including the ground floor and the bottom. So, I do need to use a cheat code to make sure there's a ceiling on the top, otherwise you will have to try and pull on the roof. Speaking of which, um, in this round the world with The Sims 2 has come a long way and I only have a few more ideas left in my list. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of the architecture styles that I haven't tried yet, you want me to try and want me to discover and take it as a challenge, do drop me a suggestion in under the comments and some references will be great to see if I can do that. And yes, also, I also accept all kinds of uh, suggestions and video ideas for upcoming videos in the channel. Do give me a comment as well on what you want to see in this channel. I mainly focus on The Sims 1, 2 and 3, definitely not The Sims 4. So anything idea that pops in your mind that would be great to know about Sims 1 to 3 and yeah in terms of upcoming videos I will have the rating Tweaky Island coming up next because Tweaky Island is the most popular best vacation destination in Sims 2 so I will check it out it doesn't have a lot of lots so that will be quite fun to and easy to rate them and if I get my math correct, I will have all the Sims 2 worlds be completed rating until the end of May. So I don't worry about losing, uh, running out of content yet because I still have around 3 months or so rating Sims 2 worlds and then I'm going to move on to Sim stories and also Maybe the Sims 3 rules as well. As for other content, definitely build ideas will be great. And yeah, custom content review is, is drawing up to a close because I pretty much review most of the stock packs in the Sims 3 and also the Sims 4, unless there are new kits coming up. So I will go and review those. So I'm pretty tired but pretty 
fulfilled that I found a lot of custom content for The Sims 2, converted from 3 and 4. That's pretty exciting that there is an active community that converts newer games into The Sims 2, and a lot of them are pretty of good quality. So do check them out if you want to modernize your Sims 2 game. So oh, yeah, I'm back to the building. Progress so far, I have done a lot of repainting and moving things around, and especially off camera, you won't see all the process of me making a lot of mistakes. All over, the speed build, but I include some of them in the video. And yeah. This, uh, I have a little bit of trouble building the interiors of this building, even though it's not too complicated, because I don't know how to put the layout on upstairs, especially if I put a bathroom, all, all the bathrooms are upstairs by the way. So Sims, if you want, if your Sims want to do that, first they have to walk upstairs to one of the shop blocks to house. Because the shop lots itself are pretty small and narrow, but doesn't leave a lot of room uh, bathrooms at the ground floor, so all the bathrooms will be on the first floor. And the, I started to not be a fan of that case just leads up to a main room uh, landing. All my landings now are pretty small and narrow nowadays. I think building in the Sims 1 and, and Sims 2 sometimes spoiled me because the package is always a large bedroom or a useful room. Now it's not the case anymore. Yeah, that now it's just you see just a very narrow hallway that leads to a lot of smaller rooms upstairs. I think it's much more logical and reasonable in most houses. Unless you live in a studio or loft house, then maybe you go upstairs that leads to a bedroom. That kind of a style. But in most traditional suburban houses that is not exactly the case. So yeah, as for landscaping, it's pretty much kept to a minimal. I want to put a lot of trees along the canal side of the bridge. Um, you will see me later me fixing a lot of the staircase and a lot of these uh, trees need to be there to give a little bit of a shade, natural shade to the alleyway. So, yeah. And even after I finish recording this, there are still more changes to be made, more things to decorate and before. So, don't feel a little bit uh, weird or something. That's usually I do that all the time. To make sure the dudes are look nicer, look more prettier, and also functional. I don't really test by building lots, but I'm pretty sure all the necessary things are there, so you won't get freaked out or anything by things that are missing. Yeah, not much to talk about, except I added in more items on the opposite side of the bridge is a hill and uh, the area alongside the bridge 
That looks pretty nice. Other than that, I think it's a pretty nice build, and they definitely can download this uh, once I'm ready to upload. And we'll put down the link in the. Also, I will post up screenshots of this Dutch canal in my social, Instagram and Tumblr. Please do give me a follow because to get updates on the YouTube channel and also get more fun stuff in these social media platforms as well. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention after finishing this build, I just noticed the canal water looks too clean, the river. Uh, mainly because the render of the Sims 2 are like that. So what I did is to put LG on the river and also darken the side of the river, the wall part especially, darker brick. So it looks a little bit more murkier. The lake looks a bit more natural looking instead of a really lush blue kind of a lake.
Okay, we are reaching to the end of my speed build. What do you guys think? Please leave me a comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on retro sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!